<laughs> I get tongue tied too. Okay, this okay. this is my third live lesson, and we're gonna gonna try teaching Sandy here in a lot of la voce. All right. <laughs> so first, we want to find out how long she can hold any note. Okay, start. Uh... Okay. <laughs> 13 seconds. Okay. You think you can do better? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she can do longer without any any further training. Oh, I'm nervous. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, that, that plays a part too. Okay. Now, do you think that you are going to sing along though? Take a deeper breath. Count your and go. Uh... Okay, Six so just thinking a long note and taking a little deeper breath. Did you, did you take a deeper breath? Sort of. Sort of, yeah, okay. Sort of. Not, yeah. Yep, so I think she went uh, about five or six yeah, seconds six longer. Seconds. Yeah, okay. Now we try in a lot of la voce. As my short videos show, the first thing I try is to can you inhale and sing at the same time? I don't think so. Okay, yes. That's a common that people just immediately said, um, no, can't do it. See if you can say ah and inhale at the same time. Now, what we don't want, of course, is oh, yeah, right. okay? So we don't want that. I was that. just going to do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. okay. Uh, okay, that was really good. So let's time it because you kind of did it. I did. Okay? Not, not fully, but you did because the sound of the voice, as you folks heard, was different. Okay, so let's record that now. Don't think anything else, just think, inhale, the ah. Okay, let's start. Uh... Didn't go as long. The reason why we did it was because I heard the sound that she made, that's the sound of the vocal folds using the air more efficiently. I heard that she did it, so she was kind of doing inhalare la voce. If you were doing inhalare la voce, the main qualifier other than the sound and the ability to hold long notes is that your brain told you that you're in while you're saying the ah. Uh, that's how I know I'm doing in a lot of la voce or that I'm singing anything efficiently is because my brain is telling me that I'm not using air. I don't feel air leaving my body at, at a high rate and uh, the, the sound is different. Like when I'm doing ah uh, in a lot of la voce, my brain is telling me that I'm inhaling. How is that possible? It's because I'm using inhalation muscles. My other short video showed the three most important parts to control the air is the diaphragm, rib cage, and the throat. When I inhale, the larynx drops down, the rib cage expands, and the diaphragm expands too. Ah, uh, all those have nerves that's connected to my brain. When my rib cage is expanding, the diaphragm going down, which is the largest muscle in the body, and the larynx goes down, that's a lot of muscles feeding information to the brain that I am inhaling. So it's a real thing. It's not that I'm, I have to practice the myth to trick myself that I'm inhaling. It's not that thought, it's a real thing. Oh, when I'm doing inhalare la voce, my brain is processing inhalation. And that's how I know I'm doing it. And that's how I know that the student is doing it to its not maximum but minimum level of inhalare la voce. It means that they're using enough inhalation muscles to kind of defeat the forced expiration muscles, which are the problem. They're using enough of that to balance it off. That's what inhalare la voce is. So you prepare to inhale, like ribcage expands, and then your diaphragm goes down, and then you're hopefully this is going down too. So you're preparing to inhale. But then you stop, 
and then you, you then you proceed to. Uh... So that's a, a common question. Real inhalation that we have to do like, prior to singing, mm -hmm. it's an application of those same muscles while we're singing. After you've inhaled, so the rib cage did a slight expansion. We don't like to use too much rib cage oh. <laughs> inhalation. And then the diaphragm sets itself and the larynx descends, opening the throat up for air. We want those three things to occur when we start to sing. Applying inhalation muscles while you're singing. Okay, so now I'm going to start a note, right? Mm -hmm. So I inhale, right? So I'm doing this uh, the beginning of yes. the inhaler, mm -hmm. the rib cage opening, okay. mm -hmm. and this. Yes. Yeah. I'm doing that, right? Mm -hmm. Then when I exhale to sing, you continue to do that. Okay. Uh, no. uh, so, so while you're doing that, a couple seconds, mm -hmm. what is your brain telling you? Are you inhaling? Oh, at that time it was a blank. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, have to tell yeah. my brain to inhale, right? Yeah. Uh, what is your brain telling you? Inhale. That you're inhaling? Yeah, it is. It is? It is, but... Okay, okay. But... Let's try this other test then, okay? Oh, okay. okay, so you gotta do, the, do, do what you just did. No. Uh... Well, better by one second. Okay. So, yep. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. yeah. I well, first tried it with 10, you know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but now it's <laughs> doing okay. So then the, the easiest so far was when, when you took a deep breath. You took the deep breath, then you went to 18 seconds. And just now, it went to 19 seconds without having to take a deep breath. And it wasn't a strain. It felt very comfortable, actually. Yeah, okay. Other than this big sound that happens when you're applying a lot of la voce to a high degree, it's just the yeah. use of the air. Just letting it come out. Yeah, on. and that's what makes in a lot of la voce so important. You're supposed to feel better, more comfortable, more in control of your voice. Until you start singing words. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. of course that makes it... Uh, but there are strong applications for in a lot of la voce. I have a funny story. So usually before when I'm teaching this, yeah, it's, it, you're actually giving con conflicting commands to your body. To sing means that you have to push the air out. Yeah, without pushing air out, there's no sound. And so, and inhalation means that you have to inhale at the same time. Those are conflicting commands. So that would be like, and the example I would give before was that it's like, Telling yourself to walk forward and backward at the same time. <laughs> okay, so it's funny yes. that, that you, you would just probably not move or, or right. you do something you do something goofy. Frozen. Okay. <laughs> but then the thing is your body has to do what you tell it to do. So then if I said you must walk backwards and forward at the same time, you will do something. This is this was just a little side that now actually this student just the other day said, Oh, that's the moonwalk. Oh, so I can't really use that example, or, or oh. maybe you can, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's example walking forward and backward at the same time, which is what in a la de la voce is. You are singing, mm -hmm. means you're using air, but you're using inhalation muscles at the same time. They, they don't fight, they work together. And then the net result is what we like in singing, which is called breath control. You end up using the least amount of air that you have to to produce a sound. You know, there's one thing about the sound that I left out on the three components of in a lot of love voce. It, it is the rib cage, it is the diaphragm, it is the throat area, but it's also the vocal folds itself. It vibrates differently. It makes a different sound when you're applying in a lot of la voce. The sound is still coming out forward. The sound is like ah, uh, or even breathy ah. Uh, in a lot of la voce ah, uh, ah. Uh, 
that's what the balancing of the two forces, the inhalation versus the expiration muscles, when they balance each other, ah, that kind of sound comes out from the vocal ah. folds. And that's what Sandy did ah. that first time through. I heard the vocal folds come together. Ah, but to get her to go beyond 19 seconds, we have to get that sound. Ah. Ah. That's better. Ah. Yeah, how would you describe that sound? Ah, it's like I'm, ah, I'm going to swallow something. Okay, like, good. Ah. Good, that's right along. Ah. In a lot of la voce. Ah. Ah. Yeah. That's called nasal, nasal resonance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. And ah. nasal resonance usually goes along with the vocal folds being used efficiently. That's an important thing to understand about nasal resonances. We're, we're going to try to time it again, but okay. be sure to... Ah! Uh, uh, yeah, right uh, at the beginning. Right uh, at the onset. The onset. Yeah. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, yeah, okay. Here we go again. Okay, now, okay. Uh... Yay! Hey, one minute, Yay! One minute, one minute, two, two seconds. Yeah, <laughs> two seconds. Two seconds more. Okay. Oh, but I see what. I think. Was that okay? Yeah. Like, did it sound okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I could tell, like, when you hit the 12, yeah, I was, you still felt comfortable. Yeah, still felt comfortable. Yeah. Kind of until, Before, until by until. that time, your body, because the body's collapsing, yes. and there's discomfort, and the brain is saying, stop singing. Panic. I'm right. running out of air. <laughs> right. Yeah. But then, the inhalada la voce, I, I could tell by the sound that you were still in control, and looking at you, you still look Comfortable. It was a very comfortable feeling, I yeah. must say, though. I mean, yeah. when, when or at 10, 11, you know, at that yeah. time. But towards the end, I think I'm, my brain is saying I'm running out of air. Yes. So it, yes. it's kind of kind of. Yeah. Good. One of the main takeaways of Inalare La Voce is breath control so that your body's not talking to you <laughs> to stop singing in the middle of the phrase because it's running out of air. Very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So then, if you can hold that off or have your body not talk to you like that, then singing will be more fun for you mm -hmm. and you're going to have more control of your voice. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to try one more time, see if you can, ah, oh, like really get that, ah, oh. ah, oh. yeah, ah, oh. oh. and then you have to try to hold that, yeah, uh, I didn't talk about it in the short form. There's a connection here. When I did the 50 seconds, I concentrated on that connection here. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, right here. That's the diaphragm? It's the diaphragm and the stomach working together. The stomach. Yeah. See if you can feel that. Instead of thinking your chest, chest. Throat, Yeah. But we need that sound. But yeah. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. See if you, see if you can hit a new record, a new personal best for Sandy. Here we go. Ah. Uh, Yay! <laughs> I got very slow. <laughs> Snail, you know, one at a time. <laughs> oh, 26. No, 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 no. It was oh, 20, oh. 24. 24. 24. So that's oh. in a lot of love voce <laughs> with a live student. Barely. Okay? And with more of the things that I talk about and what I describe to actually do in a lot of love voce. Of course, the big test would be to sing, but that's uh, more complicated and this video is long enough already. So thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you for some next video. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>